Asia. Welcome to the 2021 Open House. Unfortunately, the parents will not be able to visit our beautiful school. But this year, we've decided to do it a little bit different. First of all, parents had the opportunity to view the class um, during Google Meet session in which you could have seen uh, how the teachers and the students get along in the classroom. We will have a video this year where the teachers will introduce themselves as well as the Eagle curriculum and books. If parents have any other questions, we will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with teachers as well today. And please have, if you have any questions that you would like to ask the teachers, you can use this opportunity to do so. 那歡迎各位參加二零二一年一會美語觀不孝的Open 做小朋友的课程上的一些 Q&A做询问 Hi everyone, my name is David and I'll be the Penguin Street teacher this year. I'm still by myself. I've been teaching at Eagle for two years now and it's also my second year teaching in Penguin's class and we have a great class this year. So I just want to take a minute to tell you about some of the books that we'll be using in class, some of the materials that we use. Uh, the first book we use is called the My ABCs book. Now this is where we practice our writing. In the Penguins class, we don't focus too much on speed. The important thing is penmanship, which is holding a pencil correctly and writing neatly and slowly. Another book that we use is called the Look at Me book. This is new this year, and what we focus on here is grammar and conversation. So the students learn very short, easy sentences, and as we move on, they learn longer and longer sentences that they can use throughout the class or even in their daily lives. A third book we have is our science book. And this is a fun book for the kids. It has a lot of activities and also science experiments. With this book, we learn about the world around us. And most importantly, we have our phonics book. So this is where the students spend a lot of their time. This is where we practice our decoding and our phonetic skills. So we spend a lot of time with this book learning the foundation of English. And our last book, most important book, is our Reading Plus book. Now this is where we introduce our new vocabulary to the students, but also, most importantly, at the end of this semester, we start to do reading comprehension, which we read short stories, and as we go through the stories, we talk about the events, and students learn about how to identify details and what happens in the story. So right now, I also want to take some time to talk about some of the questions that we get as teachers here at Eagle. Um, the, most, the most common question is, how do we help students that maybe are a bit slower or struggle to complete work? So in the class, when the students do their work, at the end of the session, what we do is review their work as a class. So the students have extra time to complete their work and it checks to make sure everything is okay. If a student still needs extra time after that, then sometimes they'll ask them to stay behind during break time. So I can do one-on-one -on -one work with them. Um, another question we get asked a lot is, you know, if a student doesn't understand our instruction, or if they can't understand English, how do we help those students? Uh, the important thing is that we want the students to know that it's okay to ask questions. If they don't understand, you can always ask a teacher. What we'll do is that we'll repeat ourselves very slowly and we'll use hand signals or gestures to guide them along. Another question we ask a lot is, you know, how can you as a parent at home, uh, how can you help your students learn English? How can we help our students learn English? The important thing for our parents to do is to show interest in their English learning. So when your students take their books home, ask them what they learned at school or ask them to show you or to read to you some of the things from their book. If you show an interest in what they're learning, they will want to get better at it to show you how good they are. And lastly, before we go, there's two other things I'm going to talk about. The first one is the WordNest app. Uh, the WordNest app is something you can download onto your phone, and it has all of the words from class and the vocabulary words. It's highly encouraged for you to use so they can practice words outside of class. And also, we'll talk about Eagle Fun. Eagle Fun is something we do at Eagle School. Um, it's something that the kids can do during their winter and summer breaks. It's maybe three, four minutes, it's a very short video, so you to practice your English outside of school. Uh, finally, if you have any questions, 
Of course, feel free to contact either me or Teacher Iris. You can always use the app to ask questions, or you can always just call school directly and ask Iris. So I look forward to seeing everyone on Saturday. Thank you. Bye-bye.